Hey, does the choke still on? I got to the choke. This is it. This is the day of reckoning as he drinks his brewski and eats his pizza. <laughs> it's not really. It's not really. It's root beer. Root beer. It, it is root beer. Okay. Root beer. We don't drink on the job. Okay, so today we need to modify this arm here. This is how you modify it to make these engines work as a go kart engine. So throwing the spring here Went to the local hardware store. Luckily. I know the guy there since it's me So I'm gonna put a spring into this hole and into this hole for a return spring So it shuts it and then I have to drill a hole here that goes down and actually uh, pushes the rod and I'm going to use the leftover governor rod because it has that already made to here and this will go down and I'll make a bend on the end to the throttle and then I'll drill a hole in the top here and we'll need to make a bracket that comes off of either here or the gas tank bolt you need kind of an L-shaped bracket to hold the throttle cable so that is kind of the, the last step holding us back the one inch heavy duty 13 horse power clutch and the 41 number 41 chain with master links a new quart of oil and new bolts for the engine so we're gonna lock stuff down i want to work on this this is canyon he's going to be helping out more on the channel we'll have a little more intro on him here in a little bit and he's going to help me start working on the getting the clutch figured out over here getting these allens done so we can line the chain up with the clutch over here and then working on getting the chain to fit so I measured over about an inch from the hole here and I'm just going to drill a little hole I'm using an eighth inch drill bit because it's a hair bigger than our wire so this now We'll fit in here like that and now it'll lock in and won't pop out so i made it just the eighth inch because it's just about big enough for this so now i can measure my length and put a bend in like on this end of the wire that goes into the throttle but first we need to go take off the actual carburetor so we can measure this make a 90 degree bend about the same length and that will be the setup and then i'll get the spring set up in there we can hook that back in I just need to drill one more hole on this part for the throttle cable itself. Good old DeVault. Yeah, I built the house with these, man. Pretty crazy. They last pretty good. Seems to be super dull. Ooh, made it through. Day, bro. Got it for Father's Day. These things sweet. Got a Harbor Freight, man. Dude, it works. So we're gonna have to cut this corner off because it catches on the frame. So if you ever want to fix the carb, we'll Ooh. have to just cut that that day. Yeah, maybe we should do that. We got the saws off. We just cut it off. Cut the corner off, so it'll fit better. Touch up the paint. Yep. So now we got to figure out. So we know where this goes. We need to make this rod fit into here. So that is definitely too long. So we'll shorten it up. Let's take it, cut it, bend it in there. So let's put this piece on it. So we have a reference point. The new hole we drilled. Pin so this is off all the way. So that's off all the way. So we want we want it to follow this. It's as far as you can go. 
So I need to bend it here and cut it off here. So that should be the least throttle we can give it. And then it will pull it max throttle. All right, we're on. Okay. Um, don't try this at home. More DeWalt tools. More DeWalt tools. Don't try this at home because I'm not liable for if you chop your fingers off. It's so hard. It like vibrates so much. But there it is. So there's the little piece. We got the hopefully the right 90, right length, and the one that goes into the throttle. So I think that's it. We have backup. So just in case I mess up, we can use this 90, bend this piece, and go from there. Nice tight like that. Cause I know you want. I don't want it too tight. Yeah, we almost gotta bend that down a little. Let's catch him right on that throttle. All right, so that first time didn't quite work how we wanted it to, so we're gonna do some adjustments now. So maybe I'll pull that in like that. Just not. Maybe we'll start it here now. That a little tight. Whoops. Yeah, that's way too tight, bro. Is that going to work? So that goes there. So we just need to make sure we do the bend. Yeah. Let's see. So it works like that? Yeah. We just need to bend it right huh. here so it doesn't drag. That's low enough to keep hey, pressure on here. Do you here. have your marker? I do. Good sharpie. Yeah, I think it was working out pretty good. Just hit this right here. More. Oh, dude, that looks, that looks like it works like that, man. I think it works good. Okay. Zoom, zoom. Yeah? I think so. All right, look at that spring action right there. And I think that works pretty good. Yeah, dude. And, and stiff. That's what you want, man. You want it to be able to pull back. Yeah, yeah. We definitely want to stop You want to have a freaking stuck <laughs> throttle. <laughs> All right, so like you guys saw before, the air box, the intake box, was uh, hitting against the frame of the go-kart. So we're doing some modifications. Correct. We'll just chop her off. Make her fit a little bit better, I think. All right, now we're gonna see if it fits. If it fits, it ships. How'd it fit? Oh yeah, I think it's good. Awesome possum. I think we're good. Now sweet, we sweet. Can, now we can take it off and do whatever, modify stuff, air in box, yeah. intake maybe. Well, it'd be cool doing exhaust and stuff later. Is it moving? Uh, I'm trying to it's stuck. Oh no. There's no like. We gotta go back to a different engine then. I don't wanna pull the engine out. It's sitting there where it should be. I guess it's not really bolted in, so. I know, but you still got. What do you have to do? Take the whole cover off or? Yeah, it moves the seat and twist it out. Oh, there you go. Now it's stuck. <laughs> Probably. There it goes. Okay. Well, that was not a big deal. I'm glad that wasn't like actually really welded to that. That's like farther. freaking sun falling us. We just gotta go to the top of the hill. Okay, Canyon is putting in these nuts and bolts. All right, I just need that last one. <laughs> and we were putting locked nuts and washers on it. 
we have a quart of oil in it now and we found our little small leak out of the drain tube yes wife this is what happens when you're trying to film videos okay sounds good you heading back then? you better answer your wife's phone call or she'll beat you up yes. hey guys look at this clutch chains chain breaker we got links we are ready it's mounted it is not moving we have a quart of oil in it we got a throttle hooked up almost this is great this is great this is a 13 horsepower clutch off of ebay now this is some chain off of ebay with some links off of ebay if you haven't noticed everything was from ebay this is an ebay build ebay life ebay gang all right we are losing daylight but we have the chain and we got the breaker to break the chain so now it's broke so now let's fix it will it fit yeah because if it's a little loose it's fine we can slide the motor forward and backwards to make it work but oh no so it should be enough for one master maybe okay perfect um it, do, it does look pretty tight looks like it's gonna be a tight ooh, maybe barely okay we'll try barely. it barely we'll let you know we'll let you know one sec My we do need a cushion anyways what are your thoughts on this check it out check it that sucker is tight it will stretch it's not unfortunate by this pre-stretched one okay but it will stretch some I was a little concerned and then we like... can slide it's not pre-stretched we are like Dude, it lined up perfectly. The chain lines up perfect with a sprocket. It looks nice and straight. Dude, you pumped? Oh yeah, dude. All we got the screaming eagle. The all-American bald eagles are going to be flying here in a second. We right. just need a throttle. Let's right. we'll get a throttle on. We'll just do it. There it is. Dude, let's do it. Alright, All right. Kenny, you ready? Okay, this, this is just temporary. Because we still got to do a bracket for the cable. Yeah, fuel. There's fuel in there. It's okay. probably half a gallon, half a tank. Okay. So we should be good. If not, we have more. So All we right. can do it. Gas stations aren't like so I got a hand throttle for now. This is just temporary. This is not... This is just to see if it works. The brake does work. It should start. Um, I'm going to sit in it just in case it takes off. And something else is messed up. Or the clutch is engaged. And I want to try to hand gas it because the return works good though it does work, work good awesome. so we're gonna try this out okay so i put it on on the fuel okay it chokes this way so as soon as you're done i'm gonna so i'm gonna hold i'm gonna hold the brake okay fuel's on ready yep look started like fire bro throttle oh oh we might have to adjust that i'll yeah. give it a little gas Out. okay so maybe a little tight on the chain it uh clutch is definitely kind of warm i mean i was only like 20 feet hey we made it down the hill it was starting to go there at towards the bottom did it yeah like when i started hitting the hill and coming into here and I, I for a second i thought the chain bounced off i was like i don't know what's going on and then you're like cut it off i'm like okay okay <laughs> yeah. we i think we need to add up the link because i think it's like a Okay. I think it builds up. So let's go put a link back. Let's go add a link and see what happens. Let's it. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to break in. Back it up. 
Well, we have it on jack stands because we took a link out. Chain's still a little loose. But we're trying to figure out why uh, it doesn't really want to go. There's oil and stuff in the clutch. Everything seems to be spinning. It's still a little loose. We're definitely going to have to either shim it up or do something to make it fit a little bit better. Now we're having problems with it starting. So we think the oil level unit was off from the jack stand. So we jacked it up. Try to start it. Try to run it. See if we can make it work on the thing at Piaf. Alright guys, literally like the sun is about gone. We are out here trying to fix this chain, do some adjustments, figure out why the clutch is dying. Hopefully we got it like sorted out, right? I think we got it. So this is gonna be it. Hopefully before the sun is really gone, we will make this work and it will drive. Because it was ripping just a second ago when the clutch fully engaged. It, it seems like it's engaging right now. Yeah. I don't think it was before. So remember that big pop? With the chain and stuff and to help yeah. now it seems like it's working so maybe yeah. it like freed it up yeah. so we were gonna try yes it's on all right i'm gonna move all this crap out of my way so i don't trip over it all right you ready yeah. all right i might have to put the choke on Break on still? No. I don't know. <sighs> okay, we're gonna see if my fat butt um, just won't move me, and I might have to get a bigger clutch. <laughs> but we will see. We're gonna give it a start. It's still on. Alright guys, we're in the field, still. So everything is spinning, and what we noticed, because it's dark, the clutch is just sparking and it's not even working. So I don't think the clutch has worked at all. It has smoked from point one, day one, install, first run, everything seems, everything seems to be working. I even bought the heavier duty clutch, the 13 horsepower, not the 11, for this engine. And so now we're just going to look stuff up. But hey, it did run and drive today. Okay, so we think we figured out what's going on. I looked up the description on the clutch, and it might be the issue. We got a high performance clutch, which engages at a higher RPM. So we need a lower RPM clutch because once we like rev up pretty high it starts going it starts engaging but we don't want it just engaging at the wide open throttle all the way at the end but we love wide open throttle yeah but we <laughs> want to be able to go somewhere with wide open throttle. that's correct if go full throttle and you just rev the engine out until it like blows up we can do that so, yeah so that's that's go. it we got clutch issues and we gotta finish building the, thr the throttle cable. But we are, dude, we're like so close. So, and it's gonna be so fun. Wasn't that awesome? Besides the seat, we need, dude, a, we need to get a seat. That hurt. We need a dude, fun I bounced seat. like a foot and landed on that hard metal. It was not fun. It was so fun. I mean, it's fun, but not for my body. Okay, so it's dark. We're gonna push it up to the house. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Wide Open Throttle Garage. That is Canyon. We'll yeah. give you a little shindig on him. And you guys will know who he is. You will see him more often. And this is it. The Screaming Eagle. The Freedom Cart. 
it is here it is running and it does drive so but not very fast yeah it's not very long <laughs> dude get this tire fixed because that the that's valve stem's away. bad that's just so dangerous dude we could just take it on the road all right um if i'm wide open throttle it another day okay so well maybe we'll try it maybe we'll, we'll keep the clutch maybe we'll test it out do a drag race with it but make sure you like subscribe follow us along check out the stuff at the end of the video and uh follow us on instagram if you don't because you will find more stuff about these go-karts beforehand before the youtubes